Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So if you remember, I got a new Easter egg and bunny project from the good people at dpclubs.com. Um, it's in my playlist from about a week ago. So if you go and have a look on DP Clubs, it probably is the last one that is there. Um, I've done all the diamond painting bits. So we've got a lovely, cute little bunny look with all her eggs in a basket. Yeah, I'm saying she because look at those eyelashes. She's got very long eyelashes and we've got hot pink on this. And then we have a lovely flower basket with all lovely spring flowers and some easter eggs in as well so yep this one was all crystals so not that many actually to diamond paint just uh, a few different ones there so yay very very nice to do easy to diamond paint quite a nice quick little project but very very effective once it's done and um, we did just have the one special drill one special shape and there was no crystal codes on the uh, crystals, unfortunately, on the gems. So this one will just be all donation gems. They're all in numbered bags because I did all three pieces at once. Um, and by putting each gem in a numbered bag, then it just means if I've missed one, I can go to the number on the bag. Because there was 28 different colours um, on this one and 28 is an awful lot of gems on these little projects so there was a lot of colour changing and a lot of shading and everything on it I mean the bunny must have about six different shades on it so yeah it took quite a little bit of doing swapping out um, if you'd have just been using it from the little bags that it came with or just putting it in bags without numbers on you'd have probably taken quite a while looking through to see which number um, actually the crystal came from so yeah I just use my numbered bags that I've had from other kits so that if say I've missed out a number six I can just pick number six from here and I know that it's the correct gem without having to look through and try and colour match Okay, so we've just got those to put away in our special shaped uh, crystals. So, yay. Lots of spares. I do like getting my spares. And we're going to uh, make this one up together so we can see how it all goes. It is very similar to one that I've had previously, but that's just, um, your standard uh, coloured gems, whereas this one is all oh, sparkly. So, yay. Okay, it is a light up one. So we've got the little strip light and I need to get some batteries to put in there as well. So we can have a look at that. Sadly, this one did have a little bit that had uh, just come worse for wear in the packaging. It had just caught in the packaging um, and it just had pulled away slightly i'm sure i can just see the stick that or see if we can do it without actually sticking it i'm sure it will work obviously you know let the company know um if yours is broken uh, this did come as part of a pr package so i don't pay for these so i always think it's a little bit unfair if you get something free to then say well it was broken and ask for another one but uh, i will let them know that this one uh, unfortunately did arrive damaged and they can maybe just have a quick look at the packaging from the manufacturers so i've cut my uh, little picture out from the box because that will go in my log book and these are our instructions oh yes i remember uh, the instructions the magenta had run out on the printer i think so we've got some very uh, yellow instructions <laughs> Right, okie dokie. So, first thing we need to do, uh, what are they telling us to do? They're telling us to put the backing onto the backing first. So, the curved edges onto the backing first. Okay. So, let's see which is the right and the wrong way to do this. Uh, we need to make sure that that is at the bottom. And actually, on my other one, I should have put that at the back so that the battery pack goes at the back and not at the front. And somebody did point that out to me. And thank you. I hadn't realised, but that's because I hadn't realised that there was a little um, sort of notch there to put the wire through. That's your wire for your battery pack. So let's do the other side first. So this bendy wood is amazing. I love it. I could just sit and play with this all day. Because it's so difficult to do to get wood 
a, just a, a piece of straight wood to bend like that is just such clever cutting. I just love it. That little bit of engineering. So let's pop these into these little slots as we go around. So that one goes in there, that one goes in there, in there. Oops, just get that one in there. Come on, go in, that's it. In there. And then it's a smaller one and then a larger one at that side, in the top that side. So let's start this one at this top bit here and work how we're, we've got it right way, haven't we? Yes. Well, I don't think it really matters, to be fair. Okay, so let's just pop that one there. Okay, so it matches up at the top. There, there, there. Now then, I just need to make sure that that bit is at the back. So we'll just pop that bit together there. And, yeah. I think once the top bit is on there, then you're not going to notice that we do actually just have, sadly, that little bit there. Oh, I just need to make sure that it's in. Oh, no, it is always going to be at the front. Because even if I do it the other way around, it's still going to be at the front. Okay, never mind. Uh, my brain's not working to put that at the back. So let's just pop that there, that there needs to go over there i do just have a brown marker pen that will just cover that over it's just to come away slightly there yeah it's a shame but these do come a long way okay so that's that right so now what's this one telling us to do so now we need to put the lights on the other side so make sure we put it on the other side and let's take this off here. I quite like building these things. Um, you know, just a little bit of DIY, as it were, included in your crafting. Just makes it a little bit different and a little bit more fun. <laughs> we need to make sure we're at the right edge for this to start. So it's going to be that side. So the battery pack is going to be at that side. So when we turn it over, that's got to be at that side there. So we're going to start at this side here. Okay. And we're going to start because it goes all the way across the middle. And this is, oops, just pop it up there. This is actually sticky backed. So just be careful peeling it be a little bit gentle with this because it is like a circuit for your lights so you don't want it snapping and don't cut it <laughs> otherwise your lights won't light up and it just does need that little bit of bending as you go around your corners it's not the easiest um shape to go around but uh, let's pop that up there let me just pop you over there for now Okay, and just wind it around. I'm putting it as close to the edge as possible because I want it to shine out so that we can see it. Okay, it didn't come with batteries, but I don't think you're allowed to send batteries through the post very much. And um, there's all sorts of funny rules and regulations now regarding batteries. So. I know when I go to the post office, they're always asking me what's in the package. Um, and, uh, yeah, they need to know that you're not putting anything in that could be harmful. Okay, so we'll just take that down to there and just take that off there. So that's all that paper off. Okay. And then I believe we are now going to put this one on top. Yes, we are. And I've done it at the wrong side. Ah! <laughs> so I'm going to have to swap this over. Right. Oh, dear. Liz, what are you like? So I'm reading instructions and still doing it wrong. Ah! <laughs> 
I make mistakes, so you don't have to. Okay, so let me just pop this one back in this side here. Okay. Oh dear, were you all shouting at me saying, Liz, that's not going to work, you need to do it the other way. Yeah, I wish you'd shouted a bit louder. <laughs> But it, it is very easy just to put together. I do like these. Okay, slot it in there, slot it in there, slot it in there. And then we're back round to this one. And we need it to go the right way around. And now we have got it at the back. Yay! Oh, so I can do it at the back. Oh, okay, so now we need to slot this. Oops, nope, I need to put the battery pack underneath there first, Liz. Right. I'm sorry, I'm making this look a lot harder than it actually is. <laughs> oh dear. If Hubby was here watching me do this, I'd definitely be getting the, oh dear, shaking his head. Put the top in first. Okay, so we want the top. And then we want all these sides just slotting in. Right, and give it a good press down. So we've just got that little bit there. I think I'm going to have to either glue it or tape it because it's just not wanting to play at the moment just keeps wanting to come out and uh, yeah, it just needs squashing back together although you can't really see it as safe I put just a piece of um, brown pen and just a piece of tape on the inside you're not really going to see that so we've got the um, lights on the back now as well which is a lot better yay that's what we wanted lights on the back so after saying oh I don't know how to do it I've done it by accident <laughs> But I do love how these just stand up and that curve goes around that egg. I think it's spectacular. And then the scene in the background running through to the scene on the front. I love it. So now we just need to put bunny in. And I've got, they've got uh, the dust covers on these bunnies. So let me just get my pink, hot pink sparkly tweezers to give us uh, a hand to get these dust covers and scratch covers off the back. So, yeah, if you have something that's acrylic and you find that it's sort of cloudy when you look at the edges and look at any plain bits, that means it does have a dust cover on it. So you just need to take those dust covers off so you get your completely clear piece of perspex. Okay, so that one's going to go in our metal there. And then want to take the cover off this one as well looks like it's just starting to come up at that corner so let's grab that corner there okay oh, i love doing this i love peeling the backings off things and then all of a sudden look the basket looks as though it's um just a basket handle with the flowers in you don't actually see the background so it doesn't look as though it's stuck to anything very pretty so the basket will go behind the bunny there and then the flowers so you can put it the other way around if you like and have bunny at the front um but i want him to actually be in the basket or hair in the basket so again that one just comes off and that will just stand in the front there and then we have a gorgeous bunny in a basket look that's just so pretty so 3d and then this, ah, now then, I did this last time, didn't I? You've got to put the base on first, Liz, because you can't get them on otherwise. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to leave, oh, mind you, can we do this? No. Because, yeah, you can't get it in there with the bits on, so, yay! Do you know, I always make the same mistakes twice. It's like dropping a brick on your foot and saying, oh, I won't do that again. And then seeing another brick and dropping it on your foot. I do the same things all the time. <laughs> oh, 
be a so I've got a memory like a sieve. If I had a brain, I'd be dangerous. Right. Let me just uh, get this popped into here. Put the back one in first. Okay. And then it just slots into the front there. Okay. Yeah, that's just got a little bit squished there. Okay. So that's our egg made with the base on and the lights at the back. Yay! And then we want the basket in. So the basket will just stand in the back slot. And then the bunny will just stand in the middle slot. Get them back in. We know that they fit because we've just had them in and had to take them out. And then the flowers will just go right at the front. Sorry, you can't see this very well, but I'm having to look what I'm doing. Okay, so we've slotted the basket in the back, the bunny in the front and the flowers. So, yay! I mean, to be honest, you don't particularly see the eggs, although this is an egg shape. So you could leave it out after Easter. Right, let me just go and grab some batteries. Right. So let's put it in and see it all lit up. Yay, if you're going to have a light up bunny, you've got to have a light up bunny. Okay, I'll just... Oops. Slides out. So one... Ooh. Hurry. Oh, it's come on already. Look, must have been switched on. So pop that back on there. Does that just slot? Oh, I think it slides. Let me look. That's it. So we've got an off switch switch yay look at that oh, gorgeous and with the crystals it's just so sparkly wow yay oh i've got so many bunnies i just don't know what to do with them all <laughs> right i keep my instructions and my little uh, card there that will go in my little log book. Just oh. grab my special shape gems just to put these away. So we want large round gold ones. And let's see whether we've got any of these or we've got a new one. Say so sadly there was no crystal codes. Um but I will eventually catch up with them all. So let's see, what have we got? Oh it could be those. Are they the same? Oh no, they're slightly smaller. So it's those, but slightly smaller. And they're even smaller again. So we've got the right colour, but the wrong size. So let's see if we've got any others. Oh, we've got those. Could be that one. Uh, oh, that's a smaller size as well. Right. Okay, they have no facets. So right, let's have a look at these those back away this is good this probably is the quickest kitting down i've ever done because it's just one to do <laughs> so let's have a look is it that one and if you look on the back at the size it is so we've got that one yay oh no they're a different color that's why they're in a different bag that's fine i was just thinking why have i got two bags of those but i haven't they're a slightly different shade slightly different color Right, let's put these in this one then. Okay, that's those in there. So there you are, all kitted down. Yay! And then I say they will just go into my generic ones for donation. Light up bunny, absolutely love it. Uh, shame about the little bit of the damage there but as I say I will uh, let them know about that they can maybe just have a look at the packaging uh, so it doesn't happen but I can live with that I can uh, just get that sorted out
huge thank you dp clubs for sending me this bunny i absolutely love her she's gorgeous and she will be going down on my easter display Yay. one of many <laughs> Okay, I hope you've enjoyed uh, looking at this with me and seeing my struggle putting it together. As I say, that was user error, but I make these mistakes, so you don't have to. Uh, if you have enjoyed it, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to join our little family and see what we get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, You'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.